Will the effect happen immediately? No, it will not happen immediately. There is a time lag. You set the cause into motion, the universe is going to intelligently bring to you through a rearrangement of all the dynamics that it needs to rearrange, the effect of what you've generated by setting that cause into motion. And there is a time gap between the, the cause going into place and the effect coming around and hitting you. This is why the pattern recognition of cause and effect is more difficult because it is separated by a time lag, by what we perceive as linear time. Now, if you did a wrong to somebody and immediately you were stung by a wasp, every single time you did a wrong to somebody, it showed up and bit you immediately within two seconds of you hurting somebody, stealing from somebody, lying to somebody, etc. Would you start to connect the stinging to the wrong that you did? I think most people would see the pattern. They would recognize the pattern. But since that doesn't happen, and there's a time lag to, gener to experiencing something harmful to ourselves once we do something harmful to other people, it's very difficult for people to see the, the connection through the... And this exposes the basic myth of auditors misquoting poster seven. Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. At this moment, this guy is the installation head. All requests from qualified news reporting services to film or photograph on postal service premises must be referred to the local public affairs and communications representative. This was actually And no blurry. picture can depict any postal service employee, customer, security camera, or cover of mail, i.e. the exterior of a mail piece, which would show customer name and address, among other things. Who are you first? I'm the closing supervisor. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, please. Put the, the phone down. Stop. Okay, the frauditors uh, are not looking at postal regulations. They're misquoting poster seven. Uh, that thing was actually blurry when I filmed it, so um, go figure. Teen apparently expected a slap on the wrist for his alleged role in mowing down a 64 year old retired man who was out on his morning bike ride. <laughs> I'll be out in 30 days, I'll bet you, told cops. It's just hit and run, slap on the wrist. A Ayala and his 16-year-old buddy, Jasmir Keys, recorded the cold-blooded act. <laughs> the prosecution ended up charging both teenagers with first-degree murder, which is the intentional killing of another human being with malice aforethought. The prosecution must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the teenagers had malice aforethought by showing that the teenagers either intended to kill the cyclist, intended to inflict great bodily injury, or acted with reckless indifference to an unjustifiably high risk to human life. Luckily for the prosecution, the video shows evidence of their malice mindset when the driver asked the passenger, are you ready? And the passenger responded with, hit him. This uh, Now, a lot of people, of course, uh, in woke America... They're going to say it's that 64-year-old's fault for getting hit and getting killed. Yeah, they're going to pin the blame on him. Uh, that's just the way things are these days. What percentage of the global pollution comes from China? Tell me. No, you tell me. You're the expert. <laughs> I'm telling you, per capita, as an individual well, person, per capita, it's a time percentage for of global, That's important. Percentage that's important. of global pollution. There are 8 billion... No. You don't it's want to tell me, do you? There are 8 billion people on this planet... I'm telling you I don't know, you should tell me. Mm. Right? I'm, I'm telling you I don't care. Yeah, I say they, they produce more than a quarter of the world's pollution. And I don't see anyone, from Greta yeah. Thunberg to you guys, getting out there to Beijing and shouting at them or wrecking their sporting events. And we all know why. He is not wrong. These reckless climate change protesters who disrespectfully protest at the midst of sporting events in the UK and USA will not do the exact same thing if they were in China. You know why? Because it's only in the West where people tolerate such kind of childish behaviour. Thank you. What's he doing? He thinks he's a superhero rodeo clown. Oh, yeah. Well, it might be difficult to get him to stop. You know, according to the rodeo clown code, they have to be seriously injured before they can quit. How do you know so much about the rodeo clown code? I just made that up. You know, we have all heard the expression, the meek shall inherit the earth. Well, that is exactly what they're going to get. Dirt. 
here and intimidate me. So go back to your fucking job and move on. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Hang yourself. You just gonna bump me like that with your elbow? Really, you piece of shit? You're just gonna body bump me like that, huh? What's your name and badge number, you worthless bitch? You know, somehow auditors believe that their cameras are licensed to act like spoiled potty mouth toddlers. And make no mistake about it, none of these video bullies would talk like this, minus their cameras. Dion395. Dion395. What's your name and badge number? Right here. Speak it have... verbally, you piece of shit. Okay. Do you not know your policy? Some police policies do require that officers identify themselves. So just for the record, whenever the auditors get all exercised with the right here, the officer just did identify themselves. Speak it verbally, you piece of sh**. Do you not know your policy? Do you not know your policy? Who you want, asshole? You need to watch your language. I'm Fuck taking off. you too. It's, I hate cops, that's what's going on. Because you motherfuckers are a bunch of corporate cocksuckers that like to terrorize people, motherfucker. Fuck you too, motherfucker. It's called First Amendment rights. I got First Amendment rights, and this shit's being streamed on fucking YouTube right now, man. Fuck you, it's called First Amendment drive-by. Fuck you, motherfuckers, man. I, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, it's called hey, Facebook. You're, you're, you're the one walking on me, bitch. Corporate cum, down you fucking... Fuck you! Don't say shit, bitch! I ain't got any, I don't hear anything you gotta say, bitch! You corporate cocksucking motherfucker! Fuck you! I got First Amendment rights, bitch! You fucking cheap bag motherfucker! Quit terrorizing people, you fucking bully with badge, asshole! Fuck you! These video bullies get away with insulting cops because they know that police officers cannot respond. And that's a definition of a bully. You know, as someone... That that's either weak or they know that the person won't respond for whatever reason. And they're also bullies because they never insult some street walking biker or a Marine or an off duty cop. They'd never do that. This is what makes them bullies. And it has nothing to do with the First Amendment. Because bullies have poor self concept of themselves. And when they scream at the officers and nothing happens, they get empowered. But it's a false empowerment. As some of you see in some of my videos, they did by their camera. You want to know my name? Terry no, Gillio. Terry Gillio. I'm a fucking Iowa. We support the blue. Look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He supports the blue. Look, yeah. at, look how close he is to me. What's your problem, man? You're my problem. You insult the people. You insult every fucking cop in the city. Yeah? You insult my friends. Okay. I ain't running, I'm walking. You need to back the fuck off. Back up. Get the fuck away from me. You gonna hit a man from behind? You seem like the coward type. You fat fucking bitch. Oh, Look at out, guys. They damaged my shit. They didn't hit him from behind, though. They hit him from the front. Oh, so it's a fuck. tough guy now. Come on, tough guy. Teach him a lesson. Come on, tough guy. No, they just fucking jumped me. So the no, question everyone asks me is, do police have to be treated like dirt, cussed at, and insulted? Well, Or are there any laws prohibiting it? There are laws prohibiting Well, the Supreme it. Court has ruled that the public can use foul language addressing public servants, but there are restrictions to this. The Supreme Court also restricted this shouting and cursing to time, place, and manner. Yep. So what does that mean? Here's a man who receives a ticket for an open... Con if you're interfering with their stop, you're violating the Supreme Court ruling. She's just harassing her. Yeah, harassing her. The presence of that man over there keeps her. Well, this guy puts his gloves on, which is something they taught us at the police academy. Good job. Put the put, put the gloves on when you handle the inmate. Okay. Interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers. Yeah. I'm a man. Stop. Stop squeezing my fingers. Why are you so? You see the man? Nobody's squeezing your fingers. Okay. Okay. Nobody's squeezing. Okay. Come on. Come on. You guys are done.
Yeah, you should phone, man. take everything you, you out of his my pocket. Phone. You can't broke my phone, man. Okay, inmates lie. Your body camera? Of course. Okay. You see him broke my phone. Nope. Nobody oh, saw man. that. You broke my phone. And he's got Don't mace. Don't try to jack me around, my man. Okay? Don't try to jack me around, punk. Okay? So let's see. The idiot has one cell phone one regular camera, then he has a body camera, and pepper spray. Of course All he does. while wearing a ski mask. Absolutely nothing nefarious here, absolutely not, no ill will whatsoever. Anyways, I'm glad that the officers are taking their job seriously to protect the public from criminals, and they're doing the right thing by arresting this creep. Make sure your camera on, man. Okay. You're done. That's a threat. <laughs> Woo! Yep, use the gloves. And that's a good technique, okay? I like the way they did it. Uh, they handled it pretty well. They worked together. Uh, a lot of cops don't work together, and that's true in the South. Yep, he's got an ass, he's got pepper. Uh, usually when they do work together, it's for stealing something or uh, doing something nefarious. But uh, this is a group, a couple of cops acting professional. Um, this guy was raised in hell at the Enterprise car rental. Okay. Anyway, it's nice to see it when cops are uh, acting professionally, and these guys were. I just use my common sense, like all of you would. And there's the tape. There's the police car we're talking about. And there's the, the line, the imaginary line that I was speaking about. It's just common sense, right? And they take advantage of stuff like this because there's no tape up. <laughs> is there is there a body under that blanket down there do you know yeah someone got shot in the head you see the blanket by the phone pole the white blanket i believe there is yeah yeah, yeah way down there on the other side of the bicycles yeah. but i live in this neighborhood man and i know the way that people get done in this neighborhood let's we'll record these people from now on I'm accountable. Record him. They're investigating a murder. Did you see the way he did me? How do you think he does his wife when he's mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 44% of police officers beat their wives and yeah. abuse their families, and they're not prosecuted because Clinton made it. You can't have a gun if you're convicted of domestic violence. Yeah, so if you can't have a gun, you can't be a police. Yeah. So no police will take a record, record on or a report on another police. No, no. So then, aren't we? Isn't that two tier justice? Yeah, it is two tier justice. Okay. Thank right you. on. Hey, so, see, they got justice for, they got just two tier justice together for the rich and the poor. So apparently, guys, they're un down there, there's a blanket. Underneath the blanket, somebody that's been shot in the head. That's a shame. Always a shame. Right? But as usual, these guys come along and they're not really making anything better. <laughs> Oh my God, what is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with him? They're not making things better. You just explained to everybody. That I am not a First Amendment auditor. There's no such thing. There's just a guy sitting there looking at his uh, uh, social media profile thinking, hey, what's a quick way to make a buck? And how about I just go point this camera at somebody till they react? Recently, this auditor started to have a moment of self-reflection. They realized that their channel had become less about the First Amendment and more about inciting conflicts. You know me exactly, and I've told you several times. Every time you come, yes, you do. Every time you come to my traffic stop or any of you guys, I ask you kindly to move to the front because I'm doing my business here. I don't know you. You're coming from behind me. Okay, that's not a statue. It's safety. Officer safety. That's not a statue. Okay? I don't know you. You're coming from behind me. Okay? I don't know if you're going to come at me or any of that. So I asked him several times to move to the front. He didn't. Have you been attacked that's it. by people with cameras before or something? <laughs> you guys are just, you guys are just wanting to get views. That's all you want. You guys just want to get, you guys just want to get views. That's all you want. You don't even listen to what I just said. You just want to get your point across. That's it.
So the serial loser that's talking over there is a man-child by the name of Chuck Bronson. He likes to play games and drive around and commit infractions and then get a bunch of tickets. And then he's like, aha, I got you on camera. But in fact, it's just him that's embarrassing himself and completely humiliating himself on a daily basis. For some reason, some people subscribe to him. But yeah, he's just a loser like all of them. Now, the thing is, somebody else actually came on the scene and arrested these frauditors. Yeah. So, uh, there are statues that will cover it. Realized about an hour into my day, I had pink eye. I hadn't seen any of the kids yet for the day. So, I went to the school nurse who confirmed that I had pink eye. I asked if I can go home, and the admin told me no. I can tough it out throughout the day, and I can get my antibiotics after school. But then everybody got pink eye, and they had to shut the whole school down for two days because there weren't enough subs available to cover the entire staff. See, this is just another classic case of an eye for an eye. Jim, we need to cut costs this year, but haven't we already laid off like 50% of our workforce? That doesn't matter. Just think, how can we save money and maximize profits? Oh, what if instead of paying people a full salary, we pay them less than minimum wage per hour? That sounds kind of illegal, but we tell them that they can make more than minimum wage as long as they get tips from the customers. Ah, so we would save money and then we would put all of the burden of paying our employees a livable wage on our customers via tips. What a win-win-win. There you have it, folks. Tipping in America. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of problems in the country. And the frauditors are just adding fuel to the fire. 